Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another lesson in learning R. Today we're going to look at math operators. R is, like I said, a statistical based programming language, so math is actually its strong suit. So what we will do here is just go over the very basics. Uh, so of course you have your addition, subtraction, division, and multiplication. Just your, your very basic math operators. So let's try 3 plus 2 and we'll do uh, control enter and you can see that equates to 5 that's what we would expect so we will do 5 minus 3 and of course that computes to 2 5 multiplied by 10 is 50 and one last time 50 divided by 10 brings us back to 5 so that's that's very cool we can we can do that now with R you can assign a number or you can assign many things into a variable and it's very easy to do so say we had a and we wanted to assign it so the assignment operator is the less than and the hyphen sign so we wanted to assign a the value of 10 okay so control enter and now we have in here a variable which is a and it has the value of 10 it's the values so what we can do is we can go a plus a and so it will take the value that has been placed in a like most other programming languages and make that computation and you can do that with all the math operators so also what we can do is call upon and take a look at some of the um, other math operators so let's say we had a value a and we're going to use that down through our script to make some computations later on and so we wanted to sign a so we just type in sign brackets a and our studio will help you with completing that and so we get negative 0 0.5440211 and we can do the same with cosine and that will give us the cosine and of course you have tan and you have um, a sign which uh, I've used in uh, a couple of my programs that I've wrote um, a cosine oops uh, a tangent and when I say a tangent or a it's um, arc arc tangent arc cosine you also have arctangent 2. Uh, actually, it was the arctangent 2 that I used um, in one of my programs. Um, what else do we have? We also have log, log 10, and expone. Uh, what is exp? I haven't used that. Uh, log computes. Uh, 
logarithms by default, natural logarithms. So um, that that's something that, that you can choose. Another really cool thing that you can do, so we have R comes with a couple of data sets pre-installed in it so you can play before you start um, digging in and using your own data. CARS is one of those data sets so if I call CARS, if I could spell, and you can see it spits out here in the console um, some speed and distance. Now if we wanted to assign this we can go autos say we wanted to work off of autos we, we assign cars to the variable autos and we'll just do that now and now in the data set we now have 50 observations with two variables and if we click on that the cool thing is it comes up with this um, cool Excel like data, uh, data set um, that we can use. Now we'll go back here and then you can start doing some some really fun stuff. You can you can do um, let's see a summary and we'll pass it autos. Control enter. So down here in the console, we get a readout. So you have a min, first quartile, median, mean, third quartile, and max. And you have that for both of the variables within that data frame. So that's pretty pretty cool. And we can we can also test this out. We can do um, let's just see let's do mean so we'll call the mean function and we'll pass it in autos now say we wanted to look at just the speed mean so the dollar sign is how we get to the variable that we want to look at and we'll pass in speed and 15.4 and that matches up with our summary and you can also look at um, well we have like we said the max um, let's let's see what the standard deviation is of speed so standard deviation there's a built-in function called SD standard deviation and we'll call that and we'll pass in the autos speed control enter and we can see here that the standard deviation for speed is 5.287644 um, now we can get into rounding those numbers um, at a later time but that just gives us the that just gives us the full full value for that we can also do a weighted mean pass in the autos speed oh. and so we get a weighted mean of 15.4 which is what the mean is so the, this has been just a quick overview of some of the math operators that you can use within R to um, make calculations in your data sets and pull out the information that uh, you need. And I will leave a list in the description of some of the other ones that we didn't touch on in this video. Please make sure that you click, a, click like and that you subscribe if you want to see more tutorials on the R statistical programming language. And we'll see you in the next one real soon.